funny man, talented, his documentary Supermensch, The Legend of Chef Gordon. Paul and I enjoy The Legend of Chef Gordon. Fan fantastic Fantastic. Movie. And you can see that uh, piece of work. It's available on Netflix, instant, uh, April 10th. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the always entertaining Mike Myers. Mike, come on. <laughs> Show. Oh, right, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and terrific guy, and the kind of guy where uh, five, ten minutes really won't get it done. You want to spend several days just being around the guy and talking with the guy. So Paul and I uh, invited him uh, out to dinner, and we never heard back. Really? Yeah. But he was. He I'm gave me a, sorry. He gave me a, a lovely ukulele. Did he? Yeah, very yeah. nice. No, he's. Uh, Chef Gordon is. He was Alice Cooper's, still is Alice Cooper's manager. Yeah, and a great guy. And literally is the nicest human mm -hmm. being I've ever met in my right. life. And, and went, down. went through a very rowdy period of show business, yes. rock and roll, he's, successfully. Yeah, he's, a, he's an ethical hedonist. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is a show business god. And he's been sort of a de facto show business dad for me. Good. But I'm not here to talk about him. I'm here to talk about you. Oh, no, no. And I oh, know please. you hate this. I know you hate it. Too bad. I am here today. I am here today, Mr. David Letterman, and I know you do not like this, because uh, I just want to say thank you so much. You're quite you, welcome. You are fantastic. You're very generous. Oh, my God. You've been very kind to us over oh, the years. Right. Thank I, you. I've been on this show. I've been on the show 29 times wow. for 25 years. That's pretty good. And I just want to say, because I know you're going to try and change the subject, and <laughs> Tufsky Krapsky, as we say in Canada. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. I just want to say that this, being on this show, is, is like one of the highlights of my really? career. No, yes, there's three times that I've heard my name back to me. One time was when Lauren Michaels called and said, are you Mike Myers? <laughs> I said, yes. Would you like to be on Saturday Night Live? Mm. I went, wow. Well, yeah. that's, that's a life That was a big call. one. Yep. The other one was when Don Pardo went, Mike Myers. Ah. And then in 1990, when I came on the show and you said, our next guest is Mike Myers. Wow. Well, so, thank you very much. That's... You're very kind. But I, I'm not, I ain't done yet. No, I'm just getting warmed up. No, you're not. You're I done. am. No. The thing is that this show has been consistently cool and hip for all oh, these years. Oh, oh. And this is, honest to God, as somebody that toils in the field of comedy, I just want to just, just say thank you. What an amazing beacon of light. What an amazing American icon you are. Oh, and, and just, oh my God. Just seriously. Paul? I, I agree. Oh, no. no you are. Thank, Thank you. In fact, no, that's very no, sweet. I'm, I'm you, not Michael. done yet. Oh, no, my no, God. I'm just getting warmed up. Oh. Oh. Come on. on top of that. Yeah. You're the most American human being I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> in fact, as a Canadian and an English Canadian person, sitting next to you, I feel ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> you are that American. Thank you very much. Well, and, and you're very kind. No, uh, dude. It's, 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 you've been very kind to us over the years, and I, oh my God. I won't be able to repay your generosity. In fact, it's a highlight oh, so yeah. much. Yeah. Being on Saturday Night Live, I got the last letter that George Harrison ever wrote to any human being was sent to me. Wow. wow. This, coming on the show, is still up there with all of that. Yeah. I'm not even kidding you. Oh, my God. You. This show is fantastic. The, 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 letter, the last letter from George Harrison. Yes. Oh, my God. Now, let's... Uh, uh, 
I've, I've noticed over the years, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh, Paul Schaefer uh, has a white, a lovely white snowflake in his lapel. Yes, and it's it's I believe it's the Order of Canada. It is the Order of Canada. It's and, the and highest honor that a nation can give somebody. Wow. That's right. There it is, right there. It's yes. beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah, that's it. And yes, uh, and congratulations, I, Paul. And congratulations. I would, I would be happy to wear it. I wear it. Proudly, like a medal, really, yes. because it is such a great honor. Yes. It is an honor. Isn't and it? You, don't, you uh, really have to distinguish yourself right. yes. and bring pride to your country yes, to you get do. one. And I, you know, I don't know if I deserve it, but I'm just happy. Oh, to. sure, oh, you, no, deserve you deserve it. Really it. Yeah. There's a lot of deserving now, people I know, out there. Mike, I noticed, yeah. you know. No, I'm happy to have mine. Yeah, I know no, I'm happy for you, Dave. Yours happy tonight, for you. Mike. Is I love I'm not mine. wearing mine, Dave, because I don't have Wait a freaking what? order what? of Canada. How is Wait that possible? It's absolutely true. That's this fine. I can't believe. That's all right. I'm only 51, and my mom's ailing, but that's fine. Oh, you know? uh, let's go. <laughs> I'm does sure your she'll does mother have to be sick to get one? I don't know, but does uh, it hurt? Uh, she's 89 years young in her stocking feet, and she's a veteran of World War II. But no, yeah. my point is this. Well, you I'm just be... saying the RAF did sort of single-handedly take on Jerry all by themselves. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, no. no. Well, Paul, it's fantastic. No, it's Thank you. I'm happy. You know, I, I, I might have a stamp and two I, streets I, named after me, but that's fine. You have a stamp? Well, yeah, a stamp in stamp. Canada. Yeah. Well, you have a stamp. Yeah, I, I have a have stamp. stamp. You don't have a stamp. I only have one no. street. I only yeah. have one street named. Yeah. Wait a minute. In Thunder you Bay, guys have right? streets yeah. and stamps? Yeah. Two he's got. He's got a... He's got an order of Canada. Lauren yeah. has one too. I have Lauren one. Lauren Michaels. Yes, I yeah. know. Yes, you the know. most American person <laughs> in the world has an order of don't, Canada. Yeah, don't spread that around. Uh, uh, I, I told Lauren Michaels that I had a stamp. It. You'll get it. I'll make a call. You don't have to. This is not, Dave, this is not some cheap thing to try and get an order of Canada. Oh, Before no. my mother passes away, this is not no. that, dude. Now, I, I, I want to tell you something. In, in all seriousness, uh, uh, I had there, there's the, the the one in the lapel, sure, and then there's the more formal yes. uh, medal, which is Beautiful a, a medal. I've yeah. seen yeah. that Ribbon. online. Yeah, ri yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> Lauren wears it all the time. And and one weekend I was traveling, and I wore the ribbon version of it. And I came back and I said to Paul, Paul, I was so proud I was wearing the ribbon version of the Order of Canada. And Paul says, oh, you're not, you're not supposed to wear that. No, no. You're not, you didn't win it. I was not just Canadian. lending it. I was just, you, lending, just lending it to, it to me. Yeah. Just for your and, own and, and, personal and, and, so you look Must have been nice. I, yeah. I, I bet it was a great feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we called the Canadian Embassy yes. and spoke to a, a lovely woman. I think she was the assistant ambassador or something, she was in the deputy these, ambassador. Yeah, in charge yeah. of these arms. In charge of yes. giving out these awards. And she said that I shouldn't worry about it, that it was fine. Now, as a, as a Canadian, I'm going to say it's fine. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So if I can wear it, I'll, I'll give it to you. You know what? I would, I would love for you to be a Canadian citizen. You know, we have an opening now that Ted Cruz has left. So, <laughs> you know... Oh, he's <laughs> left, but he's not gone. We'll be right back with Mike Myers, everybody. Mike Myers, ladies and gentlemen. That, that stamp, that's very impressive. It is. That, now, that to me would be, I think that's fine. I think that, yeah. yeah, that's great. And it's... people get to lick it. Yes. <laughs> Mike, tell me about the, uh, we've heard stories from Paul and uh, other guests who were at the 40th anniversary yes. of the Saturday Night Live. A tremendous uh, part of the American culture and, and, and North American worldwide culture, really. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you were on the show for how many years? I was there for um, the standard six-year term, mm -hmm. a tour of duty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fantastic. SNL 40 was thrilling. I mean... Uh, I didn't know I was invited. <laughs> I, I never got a, received a formal invitation. So I was watching the ads on TV on the Super Bowl. It would be like, you know, SNL 40, Jim Carrey, Ben Stiller, Mike Myers. Mm. You know, it, and I was like, I, haven't, I wasn't invited. <laughs> so, so I wasn't sure until nobody Lord, had ever said, 
you come on out, they just put it on the TV no. and you're supposed to come? Like a week and a half before, Lauren called and said, um, Mike, uh, any chance of a Wayne's World? <laughs> I was like, am I invited? Yeah. He was like, right, <laughs> of course you're invited. Yeah. I had no idea, so I wrote it out, I wrote it, and uh, then he's like, uh, there won't be a chance to rehearse, is that okay? Wow. I've never done anything without a wow, rehearsal. this is like a three-hour live show. I was scared, and I, I sat there, and, and it was like, you know, 10 seconds live. Dana and I had never rehearsed it. And I said to Dana, I said, I'm 51 with two kids, and I'm wearing a wig. Am I an idiot? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, are we dead? Are we idiots? What are we doing? And Dana, which is why he's Dana Carvey, he's so fantastic, he just said, um... No, dude, we're just going to have fun. Yeah. And I was like, that's it. That's right. And we had fun. That's right. I that's forgot. interesting. You know what I mean? That's right. Oh, that's right. Because both of those, I, I think those are the only two viewpoints you get in show business. Mm. You're either paralyzed with fear and yeah. self-esteem uh, problems, or you're just going to have a good time. Yeah, and that's what I love about Dana. You know, I went on tour with him. He was kind enough when I first got on Saturday Night Live, and he said... Uh, hey, do you want to come on tour with me? And I didn't have an act, so I wrote it on the plane. <laughs> and uh, we did Wayne's World, and I had no idea that anybody had seen the show or seen Wayne's World. We got a lovely response. And uh, we were playing 8,000 people places I'd really? never played. Because I was at Second yeah. City in Toronto and Chicago. It was 300, 400 people. And it's a different thing when it's 8,000 people. And Dana is such an amazingly calm First of all, he's one of the greatest comedians ever. I'm so honored to have worked with him. But he's Very just a good. calm yeah. performer. So he would say a line. So he'd be like, you know, I think I'm going to hurl or whatever. That would be the laugh line. <laughs> and it would get like, you know, 10 seconds of laughter, which was like fantastic. And during that time, Dan would say to me, hey, do you want to eat at the hotel? Do you want to go to a restaurant <laughs> on stage? And I'm like, don't talk to me, dude. We're on stage. <laughs> it's like... Waiting by the end the of the laugh tour, died down. Yeah, he was surfing the laugh. Wow. He's sitting there doing this. You know, I'm like, the calmest performer. I thought, that's right. This is supposed to be that. This is at the playtime. Sure. This is happy time. Yeah. Yeah. So he's one of the greatest influence, obviously, and just remembering to keep it silly. Do you have any uh, uh, stories from? Uh, have you been back to like Scotland or? Uh, I, I've been back to Scotland, and I'm gonna. Go back and I'm going to compliment you more, and I don't, oh, I don't no. give a darn. But I, I was just saying to 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 the fellers over here that uh, <laughs> that my life for these 25 years has been one long Letterman story. Really? Because everything that happens, I go, oh, got to remember that for Letterman. You know what I mean? <laughs> and in fact, my family does. You know, it's like, well, that'd be a good Letterman story, Mike. And strangers come up to me. And I was in Scotland. A guy came up and he was like, oh, mate, uh, we get Letterman here. That's great. And I lived in America for a while. And uh, he's like, uh, you know, uh, I just the, all the stories you have are fantastic. And, and then he was like, mate, you promised me this. You'll talk to me later, right? And I go, ah, not really. I'm just, <laughs> we're, we're just getting loaded at a bar together. That's about it. <laughs> Uh, and he says, Mike, you'll promise me this, though. I'm not just going to be another Letterman story, am I? <laughs> and I said, no. 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 What a lovely burr. That's yes. what it is. It is. Scottish burr. Just lovely. Uh, th this movie is uh, fascinating, and it recreates and brings back to life a very exciting part of musical show business, uh, rock and roll in the late 60s and 70s and beyond. It's called uh, Supermensch, uh, directed it, and will you be directing other projects? I'd like to, yeah. But I'm here because I love oh, him. God, please. I'm here because this is the last chance I get Super to Supermensch, the legend of Chef Gordon. Show. It's available now on Netflix since uh, April 10th. God bless you, sir. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Mike Myers. Thank you. You're more than kind. We'll be back with Nick Griffin, everybody.